Hey guys, it's Mikarin. Welcome back to another episode of Finding Paradise. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm excited to actually continue on with the story since it's uh, quite interesting, you know, to say the least. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we're back. Oh yeah, we clicked the hibiscus last time. How odd for these things to be growing wild around this part of the country. Hibiscus everywhere. We're gonna see some roadkill. It's a playground. Oh, it's Asher and a uh, semi-old um, pollen. Okay. Careful up there, Ash. Those look a bit loose. <laughs> oh god, I just realized. Uh, fun fact, um, my fiance and I actually have a cat named Ash. Because his coat is um, white and ash gray. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. It's all good, Dad. I got this. You should come up here and play, too. Listen. 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 At least come down and let me fix it first. Never. Fix what? I mean, it's it's tires. <laughs> What's up? Whoa. Who is, is this, could this be Faye? Whoa, okay, Ash fell down. <laughs> Are you okay, son? Well, he did tell you, Ash? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm invincible. Well, you did, You were just crying a little bit ago. Faye, it could, could be Faye, could it? And he's just not remembering, because this is the part of the memory. I mean, or it could not just be, could just not be relevant enough for, for him. What's that? Don't know. Let's try not to jump to conclusions. Well, as they said, let's try not to jump to conclusions. Oh, tires, mental. Ah, what's wrong with him? The joy of being a parent, probably. So what drove uh, Faye away from Colin? I, that's what I want to know. Why is she not in the picture anymore? Uh, tires. Oh, oh cool. Route the way we remember. Route, whatever. <laughs> okay, that's that. Uh, let's go, next memory. Right. Ah, okay. So this is uh, younger Colin fixing up tires for the playground. <laughs> it's a badger. Oh god, what a dick. <laughs> Come on. I mean, would a badger be strong enough to, you know... Oh. Hey, it's Faye. Been waiting for me, huh? She looks nice. What took you so long? Sheesh. I made it, didn't I? Got a life, you know. Oh, hey. <laughs> Whoa, where'd you learn to do that? I mean, I can cartwheel too. It's called talent. <laughs> you might have never heard of it. <laughs> Come on, weren't you gonna show me your school? Yeah, the classroom should be clear by now. Are you gonna stay for our band practice as well? Yeah, yeah, I'll lead the way. Yeah, she plays the guitar. Aw, don't they remind you of us when we were young? Not one bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, school is this way. She's just taking- oh, wait, huh, this school looks familiar, small ro- it is, it's uh, it's from, who's it, it's from Johnny, then again, I guess many of the geezers here grew up in the same area, it is, it's the same one from To The Moon, <laughs> yeah, and this is the cafeteria, uh, the gym, 
Yes, it is. It's the same school. Or it could just be a way to say that um, we want to reuse some area. <laughs> this is where we have our art class. Neat! Are any of these drawings yours? No, mine got thrown out. These are the good ones. <laughs> How are these the good ones? Can we look around? Look at this painting. You gotta wonder, are all are these how they really look, or is it just his way of remembering? Either way, the craftsmanship is brilliant. <laughs> uh, yeah, well they're they're probably the same. Uh can we go not really, huh? Requires three, okay. Let's Okay, so we're triggering a next event. This is our classrooms. This is where I take a nap every day. <laughs> And I sit right over there. Right over where? Although I'm probably gonna move soon. How come? Well, I sat with this odd girl because we're both really quiet. But recent, well, she's been ha been hanging out with someone a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, they're they're classmates. So. So they'll want to sit together, of course. They're bumping you off. Let them. Let me beat them up for you. It is. It's um. It's Johnny and River. River. That's her name. Oh, it's nothing like that. They just look happy together. So I should get them to sit at the same table, right? It is. They're talking about River and Johnny. Oh, that's awesome. They just look happy together. Huh. It is! It's Johnny and River. What a nice little tie-in to the whole... Uh, to the moon universe, you know? That's nice. Love that. So it's not... It really is the same school. The one class everybody slacks off at and you actually work. Eh, I like these classes. If you really tried hard, you can create entire worlds in them. How cool is that? Well, that does sound like your thing. <clears throat> okay, can we... There a different dialogue. Uh, yeah, and yours. <laughs> hey, you never know. You could be in the world I created right now. Har har. Uh, he's right. <laughs> okay. Is the cafeteria locked? Yeah, the cafeteria. Nah, I just don't like going in there. There are plenty of other nicer and quieter places to eat at. Can we go? Oh, are you that shy? I'm not shy. I just don't care to bother. Ooh, so gritty. Ooh, so gritty. <laughs> hey, I like her. Come on, can we? Can we? We can't go to the cafeteria. Okay, we got three anyway. Let's go to the gym. <clears throat> so cool. Yeah, it's the gym. It's the same school, and they're the same year. That's nice. Ah, another clock. Oh, it's band practice. Okay. Then let's. Oh god, the the clicking movement is so wonky. Playing scales on an on an orchestral level now, huh? She taught him well. Uh. All right. Oh. <laughs> ah, she just fell asleep. Dude, why did you stop playing? The conductor is gonna be mad at you. Okay, let's go up. Check the clock. No comments. Can we... That's kind of rude. <laughs> I can almost hear her snore through the strings. I can almost, I can almost see her snores. <laughs> uh, you can see the Z's. Alright, let's go. Okay, so it's a uh, clock this time, huh? Maybe this one and this one. Oh, that's weird. Okay, this one. It's three o'clock. So three o'clock is band practice. So they do call them band. I was just thinking maybe you would have called them orchestra. You know, if Faye was so important that he recalls so much about her even now, 
What happened to her? Yeah, exactly. We haven't seen any traces later on. Maybe she died. <laughs> I have a few guesses. Maybe she died. Dag it. Maybe. I don't know. Let's hope not. I don't really remember remember the actual story. So where is this? We so we were here, I think. Police. Oh, pilot. It's is it Colin? This is probably the memento. An airline pilot hat. Uh, okay. So what? What's the hurry? Well, could this be Asher's birth? I think this is. This could be Asher's birth. Wait, where is he? Who are you? Oh, wrong room, sorry. Oops. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Ah. Yeah, it is. Sorry, Fia. The storm grounded my plane back all day, and I just... Yep. <laughs> you made it. Ah, uh, it's Ash. Why does she have white hair already? Is that... Oh, That's so cute. Honey, you're vibrating the baby. <laughs> exactly. Don't vibrate the baby. Oh, because he's nervous? I'm just gonna be right back. Are you running out on your family? Not really, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, probably not, right? I mean, he's the father. He's happy. He's nervous. He's, he's having a panic attack. Can we check this? It's probably just the name, right? Okay. Get a grip. You're a father now, dude. <clears throat> Congrats. Chill, bro. Make a paper airplane. Right. I mean, it's probably just a name. I don't really need to look into it. You're happy though, right? Of course I am. It's just that... I don't know. I was in such a rush to get back and suddenly seeing him here. I guess I just needed a moment for it to sink in. Hey, it's okay. I feel it too, you know? But, well, maybe it's as they say. Maybe we we're never meant to feel ready. How could I... When I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday. But you are. You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. I don't know what changed, but... You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually... Here. <laughs> I couldn't even make it here when he was born. Well, hey, we didn't know he was so eager to meet us early. What matters is you're here now, and we're gonna be okay. Yeah, man. It's all good, man. Making a paper airplane. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a car. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, I want a baby. <laughs> God. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. Nice. So, what's the memento? Regret the absence. What could possibly be the... Oh, airplane. Memento. Hadouken? No Hadouken? Huh. Why are you too serious, Neil? You used to be fun. Can I just... This... 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 Oh, wait. Boop. 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 
Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there we go. Man, how many airplanes are you gonna have? We do have free reign on his wishes though, so, you know. How could I... How could I when I feel no different from him? Wait, but you're different. Is it, why is it repeating? You feel no different from the kid you were yesterday. Huh. Weird. Why are you over there? Uh, wow, far out. Where is he? Did we get drifted from the spawn point? Don't worry, I got this. So, what you gonna do? Wait. What's up? How? He's on the other side, right? You could just... Shh. Oh, there it is. Look, Neil, all we need to do is get to, to get over that wall. I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry, it doesn't get any simpler than this. Oh, grappling hook. <laughs> oh, you freaking nerd. Is that hookshot? Let's go. Come on, give me a break. I've always wanted to try this. Alright, I guess it's straightforward enough. Hiya! Oh. <laughs> I can feel it, Ava. What? This hook shot is the hook shot that will pierce the heavens! It did pierce the heavens. Oh. <laughs> what the? Is that Uranus? Oh, Neptune. Dude, unshrink Neptune and put it back in orbit right now. Relax, it was copy paste, not cut paste. Not to mention, in part, procedurally generated. Now, let me just turn on its localized gravity. Wait, what? So you're stuck. Stuck in Neptune. Yeah. Oh god. What is wrong with you? What? You said it was alright to use my hook shot. Now let's just turn the gravity off and pop off <laughs> by Neptune. Thanks for the lift. Oh my god. It's so goofy. <laughs> I love it. At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? Nothing. Let's get going. Okay, maybe we can just go down and spy on the little kid. Huh, let's talk about staying up past bedtime. Don't even bother. What's up? It's not gonna fly over, you know? I mean, wind is blowing to the right, so we're too far apart. So, are you ever gonna finish telling me that story? Hmm? The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid. Yeah, it's a bird story. <laughs> There's not much to it, you know how it goes. The bird had a broken wing and I took care of it for a while. The vet took it in afterwards, but... But what? But I tried to steal the bird back. You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I knew I shouldn't have. But then why? So, because it was my only friend, I guess. Yeah, it is. It was. I just didn't want to let it go. Wow. What a load of sappy saccharine. I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? Come on, now? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Dude, a pet's a pet, no matter what it is. Everyone I told that story to either thought that thought that or got bored to sleep. Yeah, can't help you there. But everyone goes into things with their own context, you know? Maybe it's only fair that they didn't care much for it. 
Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. I mean, it's... yeah, that just means it's something special only to you. Which is not actually bad. Or maybe you just sucked at telling that story. <laughs> I just wanted them to relate. Yeah, how did that that work out for you? Not everyone's meant to be. T not every story is meant to be told, you know. Some of them are meant to be kept. So, how did it end? I, I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it, but it came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know. I kept on mixing up reality with the daydream back then. Yeah, that, that explains a lot, actually. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. That explains a lot. Because his memory in the bird story was actually really weird. Like, there's a lot of um, fantasy stuff. Huh. You're getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a bigger paper plane, you know. Big paper plane. We fly all over the world, seeing all kinds of sights. And I could just fly across from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. You can't fly on paper planes, silly. <laughs> no, duh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, why don't you go and become a pilot? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because... how? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find find one and ask. That's... If only it could be that simple. It is that simple, dude. There's, there's pilot schools. <laughs> if you just let it be, maybe it could. I should go, Colin. I know. Is she moving out? Hey. I'm gonna look for that airport tomorrow. Are they moving out of this apartment? Could be, right? That, that could be one of the reasons why. Note flying. Colin's cello. It's kinda crammed out here. Let's head inside. Well, the friendly girl next door would be one way to get inspired to fly, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Head over inside, check the notebook. Oh, we got posters now. Wow, seems like he ran into a poster sale. <laughs> or puberty. Pac-Man got some, I don't know, the grudge music. With a balcony room like this, his parents sure confident in, in his sleek wa sleep walklessness. Is that even a word? Ah, what's this? Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and a bear. Oh, it's the same one. Hmm, that looks familiar. Same place as the painting hanging above his bed in his er elderly days. Yeah. All oh, right. I also saw, I saw this exact picture in the attic earlier. For a teenager, he sure had some old-fashioned taste in posters. He sure does. Are those VHS? I mean, if you really want to fly some of said, said, uh, Oh, he's writing. <laughs> so this green book from the shelf is just a journal? Seems legit. Looks like it. Assorted VHS tapes consisting of sci-fi classics and horror movies. And so that is a horror movie. Locked. Uh, we need one. Oh, it's Rudog. Rudog Postoy. Poster of a horror movie. Oh, huh. Didn't think he had it in him. I wonder what movie that is. Let's go. We're about halfway until we end this episode. Uh, Green Book. I wonder how... Ah, easy as that, okay. So it's wrapped up because it has memories of Faye? 
Let's activate the memento. Where's Neil? <laughs> weird. We were inside each other. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Ah, this is the, his first time as first pilot. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, eh? More like cliffhanger. Okay. Don't, don't do the joke, Seva. Captain Ernst. Oakland Center? Okay. <clears throat> Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 390. Cactus 135, Oakland Center, altimeter setting 3007. See ya. Altimeter 3007, Cactus 135, out. See Greenhorn, you gotta play by the rules and use them proper radio words every single time. Even when you're not on the radio, at home, to your wife. But the chief instructor said, do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also endowed with this award-winning mustache? <laughs> he only remembers the mustache. Don't think I'll be going easy on you cause, just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. They're yes, captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? <laughs> no, you don't, sir. What did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh, landing gear down? <laughs> Son of a gun. They sent me all the brainless pretty ones. Ah, uh, got him. This can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes, I hope. <laughs> awesome. Yes, Captain. I have one request. To send, to not send me a gourd. And what did they do? They sent me a gourd. Is he still keeping journals in this thing? It's just some sort of a pre-flight checklist glued on there. Alright, let's go to the outside. Ah. Looks like uh, that's it. Well, how was the first day? Charlene. Is Captain Ernst always like that? I barely did a thing but sit there. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him though. You got any plans for the night? The other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for some drinks to celebrate. Oh, tell them thanks, but I'd better head straight back home. My wife is just about halfway into her first trimester. I'm away for long enough as it is. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asher. Alrighty. Oh, that was obvious. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I keep thinking there's gonna something's gonna happen after I uh, do the things. So, what's this? They just passed through? Alright. Alrighty then. There we go. Pilot's hat. Let's activate. Uh, these are pretty straightforward now. I wonder what's gonna happen. Something's about to happen soon, right? Hmm. This is probably where he'll look to, fi to find out more about how to become a pilot. Go on, ask him. He's a pilot. Ask him. Um, excuse me. Are you an airplane pi airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport kid. You won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Can you teach me? Looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn ahead, turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at dispatch. See, I told you it's worth a try. So let's go up here. Making a turn here. I mean, you did say a turn, so it should be here, right? Why are you remembering this? Who is this? You did say turn, so... Barry. Ah, uh, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? Keep kicking it. Who knows? Something might come out. <laughs> okay, well, you, 
Okay, I doubt that's it, but let's just try this. I bet he knows something about it. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, well, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license, halfway done in fact. Isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time. The pay's not much, but the discounts on the training flights help. Ooh. A painting of a flying single engine plane. Hmm, this was a painting hanging in Colin's attic in the present day. Uh, okay, no, nothing to click in the store. Well, you did say, but l let's check this out. Looks like that has more stuff. Okay, nothing here. So we were supposed to take a turn. Okay, this would be the classroom. Ah, nice cat. What in the world is that? I'm just leaving something for the class. <laughs> Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. <laughs> Smart. So much extra propulsion. Well, maybe someone would find an amusement in this. Really? No memory links? Okay, let's go. This would probably be it. There are airplanes outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. We do offer flight training and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. I mean, for someone his age? Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now and I'll let him know when you're coming. The, the owner of the entire airport? Yep, it's his family owned airport. His office is at the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family owned. What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. And also that it's probably Mafia. <laughs> mafia? Uh, what Mafia? And I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, just like the Godfather. Let's go visit. <laughs> what? Oh, we can click this. Silly kids. Can we check this? Hey, you might want to tell your folks that there is a broken... S There's broken ceiling coming in about at about 1500. Huh, sounds like someone's getting rescheduled. Broken ceiling? Anyone know, uh, like, pilot talk? I'm ready to go, sir. I got here early, got the weight and balance calculated, and logbooks all checked. Logbooks all checked. <laughs> Two words, low clouds. <laughs> yep, you're canceled for the day. Ah, well, let's go into the office then. This is <laughs> the Mafia. You've got to be kidding me. This is what he remembers. So you're the kid they told me about. What the? He, is that a mustache for a face? L look, sir, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. It's a cat. There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. But you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I don't, sir. <clears throat> Yet you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam to request my hospitali hospitality to make use of my facility without an offer. Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Psst. Tell him you've got strong arms and can help around the airport. Um, I got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. I yeah, I am. Hm, interesting proposal. It's true, there have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well, your offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto sour, Ricardo, and hold the amaretto. What is that? <laughs> Ricardo. Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training one flight at a time. Quick, thank him and step back. Thank you for your kindness, sir. See, you did it. 
Wait a minute, all that's happened is just that I applied for a job. Shh, you're practically the underboss now. Alright. So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories. Is this like racist Italians? I can't tell. Italian isn't race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the Don has anything for us. Let's check. An Amar- Really? Amaretto Sour. Amaretto. Amaretto. What is that? <laughs> I'm not much of a alcohol person. Can't move this, can't move this. I can move this, move this here, and this here, move this here, and you got yourself a memento unlocked. Let's go. Activate. Okay, we could probably do one or two more uh, memories. Depending on finally some tropical air, depending on the length of the memory. <clears throat> okay. There you go, sir. Your amaretto sour. Hold the amaretto. Thanks. This is the way I like it. And for you, lady, your your <laughs> amaretto sour. Hold the sour. Why? Thank you. I didn't know you guys make this. Are you going to be able to handle all that lemon juice? It's an old favorite. We're actually here. Is this their honeymoon? You've wanted to visit for a long time, long time now, haven't you? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that? Hey, now's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I got a few gigs waiting when we get back. Oh yeah, she's a musician. Not to mention your new job, Mr. AR Line Pilot. Don't jinx it. I might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not going to be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Marie last week. We got the flexible, hour flexible hours arranged. So, we're ready, huh? Yeah, as ready as we're gonna be. Hours for what? You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. <laughs> we'll make the little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Here's to the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, here's... Shit! <laughs> Seriously, dude. Shit, 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 shit. Nah, regret. Smooth, fella. Sloppy start. Huh. Oh. Really? Oh. Uh, talk. Shit, 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 shit. Let's see. Nothing else over here, at least. That's a nice restaurant overlooking an ocean. A small aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. It is. Oh. And it's beachside too. Turns nighttime. Ooh, someone's making s'mores. Or just simply roasting marshmallows. Come on, Colin, the water's not that cold. Uh, talk to. Come on, Colin. Oh, okay, so this is, it's just the same. Can we look at anything else? Ooh. That's a quaint little place you got there. Well, I know something's up there, but okay, nothing to see here. Damn, I'm hungry. Maybe I should go get some food. Probably after this recording, then. <laughs> She's passed out. Fia, you still awake? Ah, something's here. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. <laughs> Someone can't hold her liquor. Well, 
Well, she sure isn't much of a graceful sleeper. <laughs> That's for sure. Ooh, this is nice. Can they open this? A blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Okay, so maybe this one? Faded painting of Bora Bora. So is this Bora Bora? Hmm. I think there's still some stuff I here we haven't checked. Okay. I mean... What else can we... Oh, hibiscus. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. Oh. Okay then. Oh, maybe, maybe we can talk then. Just told you. Nah. Probably the same. Let's go. Yay, backtracking. At least it's a beach. <laughs> exactly, I was just gonna about to say. Uh, it's a long freaking walk. That's nice. That would make a great picture. I miss going to the beach. The last time I went was, um, I think in Jan yeah, in January. Let's go. So he has a few regrets. But it's not so... Like, how would you transmit that? Some trigger change to... Right. Ah. Awesome. Wait, what? So... Ah. That was weird. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> really? A paper towel? Or... What? Napkin? Whatever the hell that is. Alright, uh... I guess we'll end this video here for now after we do some mon uh, dialoguing here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hey, your shift's just about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Can you do that there? Did you even get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there are no, co there are no customers. Sneaky. I like it. Did you get yours done? Every time I see this line, I always think of Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee! Good one. <laughs> oh, oh, so there we go. So, uh, I guess that'll be it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. But, if you do enjoy this type of content, consider leaving a like. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and as always, subscribe and turn on the no notification bell to get more updates on future posts and videos. Hope you like this one. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.